The Chinese invented gunpowder, the compass, the water wheel, paper money, long-distance banking, the civil service, and merit promotion. Until the early 19th century, China's economy was more open and market-driven than the economies of Europe. Today, though, many believe that the West is home to creative business thinkers and innovators, and that China is largely a land of rule-bound rote learners. A place where R&D is diligently pursued, but breakthroughs are rare. Just like there is Silicon Valley in U.S., Bangalore is known as India's Silicon Valley. Shenzhen is China's Silicon Valley. The area around Shenzhen, the Pearl River Delta, is home to some of the largest tech companies in the world, like Alibaba and Lenovo. But Shenzhen faces a problem. The government is blamed for the unprecedented scale of its failure to protect intellectual property rights. Apple's products have been pirated the world over, they point out, but only China has opened entirely fake Apple stores filled with employees who think they work for the U.S. company. But the main problem it faces is it doesn't have enough funds to fuel the constant growth of innovation that is seen in Bangalore or San Francisco. Most Chinese startups are not founded by designers or artists, but by engineers who don't have the creativity to think of new ideas or designs. But what's the main cause behind this? Let's find out. This is your friend with OTT. If you like to help to decide which topics I cover, let me know the topics in the comments section. Make sure you vote this up so that YouTube knows you're enjoying what you're watching. And if you're new to this channel, do hit the subscribe button. And also hit the bell icon for all notifications. The reason for the lack of funds have to do with the way VC funds operate. Venture capital or VC funds support startups in the early stage because they want to make money through an exit. This can either be through an acquisitions to a larger firm, or in more lucrative cases, an IPO opening it up to public investors. But the problem is China doesn't have an open stock market. Two thirds of the stocks on the Shanghai Stock Exchange are owned by the government. Moreover, the returns on the market are low as it is tightly controlled. This means that the public generally doesn't invest in the stock market, which implies VC firms can't exit startups as they can't IPO. The problem will not go away as it is rooted in the way China's communist government works. This will ensure China may never catch up to the innovation in the U.S.'s Silicon Valley. Should China bring some new reforms in its government policies? What are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments.